day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, a user reached out asking about making this larger and printable. I've got some steps. Let me show you what I'm thinking. First, I'm going to duplicate it because I do not want to wreck my original project. Second, I'm going to change the background color back to white while I'm building, and I'm going to bring back the grid. All right, friends, so the trick we're going to use is we're going to replace this with the tube. When we bring out the tube, I do want you to type some special numbers. We keep the radius of 10 because that's the exact same size, but we want this wall thickness to be 2 and press enter. We do want to bump up the sides. I'm going to make those 64, and then I'm going to put these in the exact same spot. So let's do shift select. L for a line, make this one the boss. I'm going to look at it from a corner so this makes it more clear. We want that center and we want this center. Now we can delete the white one and let's make this 40 high. So this is going to be stage one of our rocket. We're going to do control D to duplicate. Let's use the work plane to set the next shape right here by clicking on it and doing D to drop. Now I'm gonna make my rocket shorter. I'm only gonna do 20 here, so this will be stage two. I've got stage one, stage two, and I'll lower this down, and I'm doing smaller numbers so this prints a little faster. We're gonna do Control D on this one, and we're gonna hide one of them. So there's only one here anymore, and watch this. Remember the wall thickness is two, so that means we need to subtract to make this go inside. So we're gonna take away two from the radius. If we go to eight, check it out, that slides in perfect. Now we can make this thinner. I'm gonna put a wall thickness of one, so that way it prints faster. And then I'm gonna only make this 10 high. If I do D to drop, you can see that it's sticking up quite a ways. I'm gonna do control down to push it down. One, two, three, four, five. So now we have got a five millimeter lip that's gonna stick into the other part. If we do show all, I'm gonna make this one a green just for giggles and do treat T for transparent. And you can see how those are gonna to slide together. That is the trick I would use friends to make a rocket that is large even though my printer is smaller. Let's do one more smart thing. Let's hide this click on this piece right here and let's give it a bevel of two. Notice if you have one, it's a pretty sharp. If you change this to five, it's a little more rounded. That'll make it easier to slide the parts together. I'm going to select those two and do control G to group them. I'm going to set it back to white just because I thought that looked pretty cool. Now if we do show all, I'm going to make this a blue. All right, so let's make the connection for the top. I am going to do control D again. Once again, I'm gonna put the work plane right here and do D to drop. Let's quickly shut off transparency, change those numbers. Once again, I'm still gonna make it eight and I'm gonna make the wall thickness one. I'm also gonna change that height to 10 and press enter. I'm gonna change the nudge to five so I do control down once. And then we do need to cut this in to the top. Let's turn on that bevel. I'm going to once again do two. And I'm going to do five. And let's select those two. Shift select and do control G to group them. So now you've got two stages that will go together. Friends, we're going to cut the hole in so that can attach. Check it out. We're going to simply cruise a cylinder out here. Now that cylinder is too large. It's size 20. We're going to shift squeeze and change it to 16 so it matches that connector. And then we simply need to push it up in. You could drag it with a handle until you got to negative five. You could also just do control up to get it to the exact right spot. The final step is to select them both. Do L for a line, choose middle and middle and group. If we look underneath, you can see that fits pretty dandy. 
I'm going to double click though and make sure that I made it all the way round. I did not. You do want to have that round so it slides in better. When you click somewhere else, it completes the edit. And now since I've got that work plane right there, remember that was W for work plane. And I can click on this and do D for drop. And our adorable little rocket is created. Now once again, the user wanted to make this crazy large. This is not, but it shows you the technique I would use to make them so they can print somewhere else and later connect. Now we need to modify my fins. When I made them, they were not designed for 3D printing. Uh, let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just grab all four and I'm going to push them down so that they're going to be cut off flat. That'll help a lot when they 3D print. There will be a surface that I can build off of. Then I'm going to simply bring out a cube. Notice this cube is 20 high. So if I push it down negative 20, it'll be below zero. I'm going to use the black handles to stretch it so it covers every bit of the shape. Notice I'm looking at it from this side so I can find that. And then I'm going to grab all of that and do control G to group it. When we do show all, you can see now that those fins have something to print off of and it's going to be much more likely to be successful. Finally click on it, choose export STL. I'm going to name this stage one and hit save. I'm going to print these on three different printers right now. Notice I have the nose cone selected so I'm going to export it as an STL. I only did the selected shape. 3D modeling. This is going to be called nose cone. And then I'm going to click on the second one and then I'm going to export it. Once again, notice I have just the selected shape STL. This will be stage two. Friends, to make this more fun, I'm going to print it on three different printers. I've got white loaded on the magician, so I'm going to print stage two on that one. <laughs> Looks like that's only going to take 15 minutes because of the small size. I have just inserted my SD card and I'm going to save it to that removable disk and safely eject it. Now the second part, I'll delete this one, is going to be printed in red. That'll be the stage one and I'm going to switch this to the Soval SV06 because it has red loaded and I'm going to save that to removable disk as well and safely eject it. Finally friends I'm going to delete that part. Let's switch to my GE Tech A10T. One of the colors I have in it is blue. Let's grab the nose. It looks like it's going to be a seven minute print and this one I can print via USB. And friends here we are with parts one, two, and three. Check it out, a little bit of a twist. And we've got an awesome little rocket printed on three different printers. Once again, this user wanted to make it larger and that's why they were cutting it in half and using pins. But as I mentioned, I would use these little rings to get it so it assembles pretty darn quick. How fun is that? Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.